Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful souls. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general or your collective read, I should say, Divine Masculines. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are enjoying your Tuesday. Today is, um, it is actually my grandmother's, <laughs> it is her anniversary for her, um, uh, date that she transitioned back into the spirit realm um so it has been a very like emotional day uh however i have been inspired to do a reading um i don't know if some of you all may have lost loved ones that may feel like you all need some sort of um push uh you need some push a push Maybe there's something that you are being very um, apprehensive, or maybe you're not really taking action. So uh, I feel like spirit is pushing you. It's like they're trying to push you. And I'm hearing that song, Don't Push Me, because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. And I feel like they want you to lose your head. It's like they want you to take that leap of faith. Uh, some of you could really be just kind of... Um, you know, it's kind of like delaying something that you need to do, uh, something that you um, are being called to do. And so I really feel like Spirit uh, really wanted this message to come out for you, Divine Masculine. So we are going to proceed with the read uh, to see what's coming in, going out, going on with you beautiful souls. I will, each and every one of you are feeling amazing, mind, body, and soul, feeling in alignment, feeling like your divine selves. Uh, we are rapidly uh, closing out this sixth universal year and we are coming into and are on the precipice of a brand new universal year, which is the number seven. Uh, I'm hearing some of you all have a seven life path number. Some of you all were born uh, with a seven that resonates. So maybe you were born on the 25th of the month of October. Uh, maybe you were born on the 7th. Maybe you were born on the 16th of November. But I'm feeling like seven is very, um, it, it resonates with you. It's, it's a, a number that, um, is really like it may maybe you whenever you applied for certain positions you found that you started on the seventh or the day of your interview it was on the seventh uh maybe seven is just a number that resonates with you like i said some of you all have a seven universal year i mean a seven life path number and we're coming into the seven universal year so i feel like you are all uh you've ascended to like that crown chakra energy you're in that you know tapped into that that god frequency that christ consciousness consciousness um you've really evolved mentally emotionally spiritually so you are very in tune very psychic i'm hearing some of you all are channelers scryers some of you all may do tarot readings yourselves or you may just be um tapped into that energy where you can pick up on uh frequency or you could pick up on energy so you may be a good um you know, judge of character. You could just be around someone and see what they're all about or feel their energy and you know what they're all about. Uh, I feel like some of you all are absolutely like creative geniuses. Um, I'm hearing creative geniuses in my mind's eye. So some of you all could be like, I'm hearing Beethoven's uh, where you may play classical music or you may play the piano. Um, I'm seeing someone strumming the guitar. So maybe you play the bass uh, I'm getting a sense of some of you all being like engineers so maybe you know how to um, you know how to master songs so maybe you have uh, education or you've going to school for engineering um, musical engineering so you may work in a studio maybe you have your own studio that you're building in your homes uh, but I'm, I keep hearing Beethoven um, and Beethoven was someone who was uh, considered a very magical uh, master of of music of sound give me one moment hey pardon me i had to get the kittens together they ain't there fighting but um <clears throat> so 
but I'm getting a sense of like you being a musical genius or you being very good at something that you do uh, with with this uh, song I'm just getting like maybe you all are singers you know maybe you all are hip-hop artists um, maybe you write um, your, I'm hearing your pen is lethal um, I'm hearing like your pen game is lethal so maybe you're like uh, poets um, and I'm hearing um, uh, oh man <clears throat> excuse me my throat shocker is getting blocked maybe some of you all have had like writer's block or you've had some sort of creative blocks and maybe it's starting to clear up now I feel like you all need to go out in nature get out of your homes because some of your homes could be the reason why you're not able to create. Sometimes you need to step out of your familiar spaces or your comfortable spaces and you need to go out into nature so that you could pull in some of that, you know, inspiration from other sources. So perhaps going into parts of the town that you've never been in, you know, even in your own state where you're residing, um, perhaps take it. I'm here in Chinatown. Um, so go to like Chinatown, um, go to parts of, um, the areas that you do not, per, you know, that you do not, um, travel normally. You know, I'm hearing for some of you all take a train ride to another part of town. Uh, definitely go to a body of water. Like I'm seeing, like, um, I'm seeing the, um, I'm seeing the Hudson River in my mind's eye. So some of you all, and I'm seeing the Statue of Liberty. So maybe some of you all, I'm hearing like take the ferry. Uh, you could take like that Staten Island ferry um, and just write, you know, get on the ferry and write. Um, that could be very, very um, helpful to unlock or to unblock uh, that creative energy. Because I feel like it wants to flow, but you're not getting any type of inspiration because you're doing the same old thing. And so that's why spirit, I was feeling like maybe your ancestors are coming through uh, and saying like, you need to take a leap of faith. Like, even if you feel like something's not going to be successful, try. And if it doesn't succeed, try again. And if it doesn't succeed, still try again. You know what I'm talking about? Like, don't get discouraged because something didn't work out the first time around. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so that's what I'm picking up intuitively for anybody that may be new. Welcome to you. Um... The way that I do things on this side of the planet is I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear me referencing music that I will be playing during the reading. And the way that it works is the name of the song, name of the artist, perhaps the lyrics within the song, timestamp of the song, maybe the numbers correlated with that song that's playing. It will resonate, correlate to what I am uh, channeling intuitively as well as what's coming out uh, through the tarot cards. Um... My messages and my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Everything is general here. These are not personal readings. I am considering doing personal readings next year, um, but there will not be a charge. I'm still not feeling like spirit wants me to charge people for readings. So, um, um, so that will be something that I am considering is doing like personal readings, but it will not be like I'm doing personal readings all week. It's like I will perhaps like I'll um, choose maybe um, every month I'll probably choose three people. You know, three is a good number for me to work with. So I could choose three people to do personal readings, um, you know, and all I ask in it, of you all is to, you know, just get the video in circulation. The way that we do that here is through liking the video um, because that's how it gets into the algorithms. It's not so much about liking the content, but at least getting the video into the algorithms. And it does require a like. It does require, um, you know, even the larger channels will ask you to do that. So in order for me to get the videos that I take very valuable time and energy to create, especially two hour videos, um, you know, at least a like is, is whether you, whether it resonates or not, you know, um, if it's, if it's something that is being given to you free of charge, I don't see what the issue is with liking the video since you are here. If you're here, then I mean, you know, do some house cleaning, hit the like button, uh, spread the love, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not a hater. Even if I go to somebody's channel, uh, and you know, everything is not meant to resonate because every reading, reading is not going to be for you. That's why it's called a general reading. But the fact that you was able to walk through the door and hear the message is enough for you to 
show love. You know what I'm talking about? So, and, and I'm speaking from experience. I'm not speaking something that I don't practice myself. So even if I go to somebody's channel and their affirmation or information does not resonate or it doesn't click with me, I've still liked the video because I'm there watching their their channel and I know the time and energy it takes for you know uh, content creators to <clears throat> get these products out there my throat is getting blocked again <clears throat> and so I'm seeing uh, I just saw 10 10 on the clock so I'm feeling strongly like there whatever that blockage is it's 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 dissipating it's about to um it's dissipating give me one moment my bad so with that 1010, I'm also feeling like there's some sort of breakthrough, breakage, you know, something's breaking up. Maybe there's a decision that you're finally going to make. I'm hearing finalizing a decision or finally choosing a direction, a course of action, because I'm getting like the two of wands, because that 1010 reduces to two. Um, so not only is it a new beginning, but it's a, a, a new beginning that you're choosing. Okay, so... With all those distractions that was taking place also, I feel like that could be the reason why, um, you know, maybe you were a little apprehensive perhaps in making a decision because there could be a lot going on. You know, I just see like, you know, you juggling a lot right now. You know, maybe some of you all are trying to plan um, a move or relocation or trying to get a new vehicle or trying to find a new position that's paying more. Or maybe there's some things that may have changed at your current position, at your current role. Maybe someone's, someone's time has been um decrease like your hours have been decreased uh so now you could be looking for a second job or you're looking for supplemental income or means to making supplemental income and perhaps it's just a lot moving right now a lot going on you could be working overtime right now just so that you can um make ends meet you know what i'm talking about so it's, it's just like i just see a lot of action a lot of you know movement a lot of um juggling multiple things at one time responsibilities um um, because this video has been just like, oh, pardon, pardon me, you know, even with my cats, um, you know, fighting uh, earlier, you know, which is rare. They don't really fight like that. You know, it's really the older one that is just, she's just not with the ships. She doesn't ever want to be bothered. And, you know, little Katara is a kitten. She likes to play. She's very frisky. Uh, so, you know, as I said, distractions, there could be some distractions, there could be some things going on, pulling and tugging at your attention. And remember, wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So just be mindful. I just saw one, two, three, four. So that reduces to 10. Um, so 10, again, uh, ending, there's endings, there's endings to the blockages, there's endings to the confusion. I feel like you're finally going to make a decision. I'm hearing finalize. So maybe you're putting your signature, your John, you're signing your John Hancock. I'm hearing uh, maybe you're signing a new lease contract maybe you're signing a new um, you know finance contract for a new vehicle uh, maybe you are also you know agreeing to some sort of of um, a new job offer uh, where you're signing your gene or John uh, your John Hancock part of me this is the masculine reading so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pause there I don't want to go too further any further into the um, spiel but that's just what i'm picking up intuitively uh so let's go ahead do some house cleaning i'm gonna do a sound bath for you all with the kalimba and then we will proceed with the reading uh before we do anything else uh also these readings are timeless so whenever you found yourselves clicking on this video that was the time divine timing and in divine order that you have done so ashe so i do call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So as I've promised, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a sound bath. Let me put my book over here like so. So we're just going to strum a couple of strings on the kalimba. You can take three 
deep inhales and three strong exhales. So inhale through your nasal, your nose, and then exhale through your mouth three times. Three is the magic number, beloved. Ashe. So let's go ahead, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hey, beautiful. So let's go ahead. I don't profess to be a professional, okay? Don't be clowning me on my little kalimba and my instruments, okay? <laughs> so let's see what we got coming in, all right? So I'm going to turn on my playlist. And my playlist is actually um, public on YouTube. So if y'all like my vibes, the music I listen to, help yourselves listen. It's all good. So we're going to go ahead. You know how I like to start off. I like to start off the readings with numerology. I feel like it just brings, you know, the meanings, the messages home. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we have uh, Ray Charles. I'm sorry, I said we have Ray Charles. Ray Charles is actually, this. the name of the song is called Let's Go Get Stoned. So Let's Go Get Stoned is playing by Ray Charles. All right, and then we have um, Spiritual Partnership here, number 27. So that's a powerful energy. And, and, and if you look here, um, the name of that, it says true genius. And I was picking up on some of you all being like musical genius. I was hearing Beethoven um, earlier. So I don't know if some of you all have some sort of uh, skills, musical skills, gifts, talents. Just very, it's innate. You know, it's just something that you are... Uh, you were born with you know you can just pick up uh, an instrument of any kind and and you just you know you innately know how to play it uh, sort of like what you know Prince Prince is self-taught with all of the instruments that he uh, was able to master the drums the of course the guitar the piano self self-taught you know uh, so he came into this paradigm you know already being coded with that that talent with that gift uh, so this is powerful. So with true genius, look at that. So that's powerful. So we have spiritual partnership. So some of you all are, are definitely coming into or may have already developed some sort of powerful connection with someone. Uh, this doesn't have to be a love ship. This could be just a very um, powerful business partnership that you're coming into. This is a very important person that will come into your lives. And I feel like business will boom I feel like there's opulence I feel there's expansion some of you all are holding yourselves back from taking some sort of leap of faith uh, your fears are hindering you are blocking you from some sort of potential opportunity I feel there's someone coming in uh, some of you all will meet someone perhaps 
in the metaphysical, esoteric, spiritual realm. Like there's some facet of this individual's life that is deeply connected to yours spiritually. So I feel like there's a spiritual connection doing part to whatever it is you do, whether it is music, whether it is uh, being a channeler, a scryer, a psychic, a tower reader, a musician, an artist, whatever it is, I feel like you will develop some really strong connections through your divinity of creation. So tap in, beloveds. Take that leap of faith. Stop sleeping on your skills is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. A lot of you all are very talented. Like I'm seeing someone who just knows how to freehand. Like you make realistic art. You know, like realistic art. Like you can just draw somebody and it looks exactly like them. I'm seeing someone having like a sketchbook and using like that charcoal kind of um, pencil and just you know just just um just um free handing something you know some sort of art you know i i also feel like uh perhaps you know something has uh sparked this creative uh, it's like this 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 thirst now you know and and with we have love changes who is this this is Love Changes. What's that? I'm trying to see the name of the artist. Before. So this is the original. This is the original. This was a remake. Uh, so this is the original group. I'm trying so hard to see who this original group is. Hold on one moment because it's going to drive me crazy. Um... It doesn't say the name, and I can't even read it. It says Mother's... Oh, Mother's Finest. So this is called Love Changes. So something something has triggered this. So something within a relationship. Maybe there is some love changes coming in. You know, uh, because this spiritual partnership could be saying that some of you all are coming into some sort of love changes. Because there is someone that is like your yin to your yang, your twin... There's somebody that's coming in that's meant for you. This is somebody that I feel is going to change even your perspective on love. Maybe even um, make you a little more, um, a little more opened with this nine. I do feel like some of you are really just mastering your craft. Perhaps you're like in this hermit mode, really just honing your skills. You know, maybe even just. You know, really entertaining yourselves uh, creatively. You know, maybe you're just focused on some of your hobbies, things that you enjoy doing. And maybe those hobbies are turning into certain talents and gifts that you may not have really paid any attention to. But with a spiritual partnership, I do feel I'm hearing sacred. I'm hearing something's very sacred. I feel it's also uh, like a wish fulfillment or a blessing because uh, I'm seeing like the nine of cups. So this could be someone, something that you may have manifested Maybe you, you know, because that nine is giving me like the hermit, but I'm also seeing like the nine of cups. And if the hermit, if you look at the hermit in traditional tarot, he's looking at a lantern. You know, the lantern provides that light, that illumination, that clarity. But inside that lantern, what is illuminating that cave is actually a star. So it's like there's hope and optimism that this this hermit has been holding on to. So it's like walking by faith and not by sight. And something finally clicks because the hermit goes within to find the answers because he knows that's where the answers are. It's not in the people in the outside world. It's not for in anyone external to self. And maybe there's something that illuminates some sort of click, some sort of, you know, uh, aha moment where this hermit realizes that there is a special connection. Um, when you are so isolated and when you have been out of the dating game for so long, sometimes you forget how to do it. Sometimes because you've been so, you've been single for so long, um, you may not be able to 
read the room. Maybe you're not able to interpret when someone is interested, but I feel like there's going to be something so sacred. There's going to be this chemistry. There's going to be some sort of synergy. Uh, there's going to be some sort of magnetic pull nudge, and this is going to change your mind, change your, your direction. Uh, love is going to change you. Hey, my love. Hi, friend. So we have on the split, we have intuition, trust your intuition. This number 22, that is the number four. So this is like, you know, divine masculine number. The four is also the heart chakra. So this is speaking to you, trusting what you feel and doing things from the heart space, not doing things from the head space. Sometimes you think too much. That's why I was feeling like, you know, spirit was like, pushing you like because I was hearing don't push me because I'm close to the edge and it's like you know spirit just pushes you and like you know take that leap of faith be risky be daring so it's like trust your intuition but trust it from a heart space not so much from you know that cerebral space the mind the logic because I feel like you a lot of you all have been closed off to love but you are prepared for it you're ready for it and this isn't just any old type of love. My Katara is so spoiled. She always wants to sit in my lap. Hey, honey. Hi, friend. You making your little debut? Hi, friend, friend. That's my little mamas. You going to sit here with me while I do the reading? So we have this 27, and then we have this 22. So whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's the number of you and the person you're attracting, kind of mirroring one another. And so with both of you in that two space, that's like the intuition. So both of you are highly psychic. And that's why I feel like spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Move to the beat of your drum, stand in your power, and do what you feel like doing. Like this is about prioritizing you. But remember, I was also picking up that too. It's a decision. So you choose which direction you choose to go. But make sure you're choosing the direction that's going to bring you to the spiritual partnership. What are you doing, beloved? Where are you going? Oh, you good? Okay. <laughs> She's climbing all over the world. Climbing all over the world. All right. So we have He's the Greatest Dancer. Um, and this is by Sister Sledge. So I do feel like there is someone with Greatest Dancer. Um, and this was in 1995. It says remaster. And I just want to show you. So with that 1995, I'm getting six. So that six is like, you know, giving me the six of cups. It's also giving me like the lovers. So this could be someone that is absolutely like that twin flame. Uh, someone from a past life. Someone that you will feel like you knew this person before. Because there's a sense of familiarity, similarity, um, there's a just that that magnet that magnetism that will draw you to someone uh but with this too i feel like also uh on the bottom of the deck it's showing like good things take time to create so i feel like it's been taking a while because you haven't been making a decision you've been stuck at that fork in the road for quite some time and i'm seeing um i just saw I saw 27, 36 when I was saying that. And so that's 9-9. Nine, nine. So I feel like now there's some sort of change because, you know, like I said, 9 is the highest number of change. But that hermit is also able to assess things by looking back in awareness. And then he has some sort of epiphany. And then he takes action. He moves forward very confidently. So I feel like with this sister sledge, the sledge is like, you know, um, sledge. I don't want to give you the wrong information because I was seeing a sleigh and not a sledge in my mind's eye because I was about to correlate the sleigh, um, you know, how the, um, the you know, you, you, you ride it in the snow. But I, I was seeing that in my mind's eye when I said sledge. I believe a sledge is like some sort of, it's almost like a hammer. It's like, um, it's like a hammer. So this person, maybe this person is coming back and it's going to hit you hard. Because remember, we did have love changes um, that was playing earlier. You know, so let's let's tap in. Let me do some more uh, shuffles and then we shall proceed. But I also feel this is a sister coming in as well, meaning a feminine energy. Right, Shay, so we got a couple of cards that chose itself. We're going to take these. These are your uh, bonus messages. So we have the number four, perseverance. So there's been some healing. There's been some healing, a lot of healing I'm hearing. I said there's been some, and Spirit was like, no, a lot. There's been a lot of hearing, uh, healing that has been taking place. 
And I feel like this has been happening on your behalf because this is, again, the four, which is associated with divine masculine energy, the emperor. And so I feel like spirit is acknowledging and recognizing how much you've been healing. And that 29, 29, that's on the clock, that's 11, 11. So you now are prepared and ready to love from your heart space because you have healed from past pains, wounds, traumas, childhood traumas. You may have healed some of your, uh, you know, past life traumas. You may have, you know, healed or uh, paid off some karmic debts, but you are whole here. This is like your heart is opened. You're open for the sister that's coming in. You're open for this feminine energy that's coming in. So divine spirit of love and light. Some of you all could be dancers as well. Because with he's the greatest dancer. And I was picking up some of your talents could be in art. It could be in music. It could be in writing, singing, uh, poetry. Um, maybe you're artists. Maybe you are creatives in some way, form, or fashion. Uh, but you also may be dancers. You may be choreographers. You know, you may be, um, and I'm seeing like, uh, hip hop dance. I'm even seeing some of you all like doing like um, maybe in the like in your past you took up like hip hop dancing. Maybe y'all used to break dance. You know, I'm just seeing like some of you all love to dance. Maybe you like going to you know you step. I'm hearing step. You know that that's very um, popular. Like in <clears throat> excuse me, that's very popular. Like in Shot Town, they step. You know that's that. You know, I, I can't even explain it, but it's like they step, they go to the step club, you know, but I get a sense of like, maybe you used to dance, you know, back in your, I'm hearing in your heyday. So if you're an older gentleman, uh, you know, maybe you used to dance a lot when you were younger and maybe you've stopped dancing and that could be a passion of yours. And spirit is like, get your ass up and dance, you know, cause that opens up your heart chakra. That makes you happy. I feel like you, whoever this feminine energy that's coming in, they too will love to dance. I'm hearing like, um, you know, because dance is also a part of like ceremony as well. So maybe you all do dance in ceremony. You know, they have like those, what do you call those uh, spirit dancers? You know, where they, they don't speak and then they just kind of do, you know, so maybe you guys do something like that. But we have uh, 57 teaching and learning here. So you have been evolving, just as I said, and this is four and three. So I feel like you are attracting a divine feminine to you. And the two of you all have been doing very much, you know, you've been doing a lot of work on the selves, healing yourselves, working on yourselves, improving, reaching that level of self-mastery. Because this 57 breaks down to 12, that's three. So I do feel like, again, you know, there's a divine feminine that's on their way in. And I feel like the two of you have been working very hard on healing yourselves. You both have suffered a lot of pain and loss. There's green on the inside of this symbol here. And so I feel like there's been a lot of um, focus on healing that heart space. There's been a lot of trauma that you've experienced in your life. And that could be why there was so much hesitation, so much apprehension, so much fear. You know, fear is false expectations appearing real. So maybe you are associating your past with what could potentially happen here in the future. And spirit is like, nah, take that leap of faith. Because with this four and three, this is about moving forward. It's seven. That's the chariot. It's about finding balance, the yin and the yang. Finding that balance within yourselves even. And you've learned to embrace your femininity as well as your, divinity, your divine masculinity. And that's what has brought this 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 sense of balance, the sense of, I'm hearing the word purity. So you've purified yourselves in some way. I was picking up you all like, you know, literally like, you know, paying off karmic debts. So maybe there were some things that were kind of binding you and keeping you uh, and holding you back from your happiness and your peace. I feel there's also 3333 on the clock. That's 36912. So that reduces to three. You are healing also from pain. You were, you, it's like, you know, hurt people hurt people. And perhaps I'm hearing the, the term troubled soul. Some of you all could have been very troubled from your childhoods. Some of you all could have been, grew up in foster care, I'm hearing. Some of you all could have grew up even in, um, you know, some of your uh, own family members' home, but they treated you like outcasts. They didn't treat you very well. They treated you like the black sheep. I'm almost seeing like that. You know, um, they have that Cinderella story where she's like, you know, 
daytime she's scrubbing floors and all her stepsisters they're being treated like the princesses and then you know she goes out to the ball and she meets the prince and he wants to marry her and not the you know so I'm seeing it the roles reverse it's like you all were treated like you know the black sheep like you were good for nothing maybe your siblings were treated better than you were you know you you could sense that there was a sense of um you know um favor like they favored your siblings over yourselves so you were always outcasted i'm hearing the term outcasted and then i'm we have uh toki monster and this says darkest so those were your darkest times and i feel like that's what can you see that let me see let me put it where you can see it such a yeah maybe you can see it like that i don't know maybe it's too bright let me turn the brightness down there we go there we go Okay. So darkest. So you were going through some dark periods in your lives and that's why you had to heal because this 57 reduces to 12 like I said and that's 3. So those are the things that taught you, you know? And you didn't go through anything. You grew through it. You know, and that's why you're now in the 7 energy. The 7 is associated with the chariot like I said. So now you're more assertive and that could be why there was apprehension. That could be why you're like hesitating before going in a particular direction and spirit is like just go already like just and they're ready to push you because I was hearing don't push me because I'm close to the edge so let's tap in so we got love partnership there's no denying you got love coming in there's some love coming in you've learned from past mistakes you've learned from past trauma hurt pain and I feel like you're now prepared spirit is like almost saying like now you're prepared to because you know you're gonna attract what you are now so now you're prepared for a new love ship, a new partnership. This could be wish fulfillment as well. We got seven and eight. So this four and this 57, which reduces to 12, which is three. So this is seven. And then we got eight. That's 15. That reduces to six. So there could be someone from your past coming in. Someone that could have chosen another person, which is why you were learning from something. Someone came into your life, a karmic potentially, that could have come into your life and taught you a lesson. And I feel like now that that karmic debt is paid, now that you've learned those karmic lessons, now that you've gotten through the darkest period of your life, now there's something new coming in. You're on the precipice of some wish fulfillment, some blessing. And this is going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of peace, and a lot of happiness. I also feel like this is also a sense of someone returning, coming back, you know. Someone has had some sort of aha moment. Maybe someone from your past that walked away is having an aha moment because we have aha take on me now playing. So someone is returning because they've had that epiphany. So as we see with the teaching and learning, you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And usually twin flame unions, there is that 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 sense of, um, you know, that type of dynamic where you and your divine counterpart are learning you know, at the same time, you're learning simultaneously, perhaps through one another or through karmics that are in your lives, but you're learning simultaneously. And maybe that's why someone is returning. Someone is coming back. Someone is coming back to capture this love, to recapture this love. I'm getting a sense because they've had some sort of aha moment. This could be your energy of the person you're attracting. This could be the mother of your child or children. You got the 63 parenting here. And this is a bright yellow card. And we also have blue on the symbol. So there could be someone that has had some sort of epiphany. There was some something had um, met its demise. You know, I feel like you kind of were holding back from someone also. Maybe you all walked away from someone because this is the overall energy. Or maybe someone walked away from you all thinking the grass would be greener on the other side. Only to have some sort of aha moment that they were happier or happiest with you. I feel like with this nine, this is showing me like there is something that has like... You know, it's, it's illuminated. It's like it clicked. And with take on me, I feel like somebody is getting a, a, a different take on you, on the situation. I feel like someone is ready to com communicate. I feel like with that nine, they could be up in their head, you know, a lot thinking about the situation. And that could be how they've had some sort of aha moment, that epiphany. So let's tap in. Let's see who the person that you are attracting. Let's see who is this person that you're attracting to you. So these cards just kind of jumped out as um, bonus message for your overall um, energy. And being that it's three, I'm going to just take those. So let's cut the deck. Divine Spirit, Love and Light. 
what's coming in for my divine masculines my yang energy may have a message of love and a message of light spirit thank you the bottom of the deck is the person that you are attracting and we have this number 20 or 32 it says music so yeah they're having an aha moment whoever this person is it's like they're having that of that epiphany it's like a grand epiphany they're getting a completely different take on the situation on you they didn't appreciate you and now they're seeing something it's like they're learning something someone is realizing that they love you someone's realizing that you were the one that got away that you're you know you're like a rare you're rare you know maybe because you care so much maybe because you are um genuine you're just a, a genuine person a genuine soul you know you may you you may just be different from the rest we have in the bottom of the deck what did i say somebody wants to communicate with this 33 they're having some sort of epiphany and they're prepared to speak to you with this 32 music i feel this is also saying a lot of you all are musicians because I was picking up on the fact that some of you all had some sort of creative gifts. Like you could be an engineer. You could play the piano. You could play the bass, the guitar, the drums. I'm hearing. I'm seeing drums. You know, I'm definitely feeling like some of you all are um, creatives. Like music is your sanctuary. It's your place of peace. You may listen to music all the time. Always have music playing, playing even when you rest. Even if it's like meditation music, binaural music during the daytime, you're playing actual music that maybe you've um, produced. Maybe you are a producer, so you're always engulfed in music, sound, songs, beats. We have Jodeci playing right now. My heart belongs to you. Someone also could be, you know, some of you all could be like Claire Audient listening to music, getting messages, downloads. Someone is listening to songs feeling like you, their heart belongs to you. Just as I said, so this is someone from the past. This is definitely someone from the past that's feeling like you're the one that got away. And with six and five, this is 11. So we got the six and five because remember the four and the three. That's 7, the 7, and the 26, that's 8. So 7 and 8 is 15, that's 6. 6 and this 32 here is 5, so that's 11. So that's one half of that twin flame union, that yin to your yang. And we have the 6 here, so this is that person from your past that could have walked away, could have left you behind. That 6, 26 could also be, you know, like the 8 of cups. You know, maybe someone was uh, feeling like you were perhaps playing games. So they walked away from you, you know, thinking that, it would be better or maybe you walked away from someone thinking that someone else would be better and it just wasn't it didn't it didn't measure up they didn't measure up the relationship itself didn't measure up someone's realizing their heart belongs to another person and this is something that they deeply desire to communicate especially with that 32 i feel like the music is just really just expressing every feeling every emotion every um thought that someone is having maybe this is you listening to music maybe you're creating a song for a particular person that you have in mind that you have in heart but with this 33 there is some sort of communication coming in from someone from your past and this is someone that like i said this is like a twin this is like soulmate this could be someone that you um that you will feel some sort of chemistry or synergy maybe when you first met this person that's what you felt so let's tap in so how does this person feel that our divine masculines is attracting to them? Thank you, spirit. So we got two cards that flew out. We got 77 spirituality. I can't make this up. And then we have this completion. Someone's wrapping up a cycle. See that? Someone is completing some sort of karmic cycle, learning karmic lessons. So there is definitely karmic debts being paid off. This is also like seeing things clearly, seeing everything for what it truly is. No longer being confused and conflicted. Finalizing a connection or a relationship that someone is realizing it, it's, not, it's not where they're meant to be. Because we have My Heart Belongs to You by Jodeci. And it's 43, 43 on the clock. That's 7, 7, 7, 7 breaks down to 14. That's 5. So someone is going to communicate that to you. And it was just 7-7 seven, seven on the clock with 43, and this is 7-7, seven, seven, spirituality. This is that spiritual partnership that someone feels that they have with you. This sacred connection, union, partnership with Diary of a Mad Band. This is something that they may never have communicated. They could have been journaling this, you know, keeping this secret. This is somebody that keeps a diary. This is someone that may have um, 
you know, they may be like a secret admirer. Maybe this is you penning in your journal, you know, expressing your feelings. But with this 85, this is saying follow your dreams. So this is you no longer like, you know, being blocked creatively or being uh, hindered or allowing your fears to to hold you back. This is about you moving forward, you know, taking that leap of faith. With this 85, this is the death of, of fear. This is the death of doing things the same way and expecting different results. That 85 is 13. That's transformative. That's a transformative mindset. This is a whole new belief system. This is you following a completely different path or ideology now. Going after your dreams. Going after your desires. That 85 reduces to 13. That's a death. So there's a death of the old version of you. Where that was... was uh, questioning everything or trying to control the narrative the circumstance trying to even control yourselves judging yourselves and it's like now there's this this freedom there's this freedom with the spirituality you're attracting someone who's also been healing and growing someone who's just as psychic just as intuitive as you someone that could communicate with you and you them spiritually like psychically telepathically intuitively it's a lot of communication back and forth, maybe even dreams. And I just saw 45, 45, that's 9, 9. So you both have been changing. That's the one thing. There's been a lot of changes, consistent changes I heard in my mind's eye. So let's tap in. What's hidden in the energy? And so we have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Stop the Violence Plan. And this is by uh, many artists. We have uh, BDP, Heavy D, Cool Mo D. Oh man, so many. Stets of Sonic, MC Light, Big Daddy Kane, D Nice, Just Ice, Cool DJ Red Alert. Like this is this is like a classic right here. Self destruction. So someone was definitely self sabotaging with self destruction here. You know, what's hidden is someone was definitely self-sabotaging. And, and with um, Ray Charles' Let's Get Stoned um, that was playing earlier, um, I feel like maybe that's what someone was doing. Like maybe they're drinking themselves to oblivion. Or maybe this is past energy. Or maybe that's what someone is doing to to um, deal with the pain, the loss, the hurt. Uh, maybe someone is smoking too much herb. Maybe someone is just like too much of anything could be, you know, it, it's not good for you. So if someone is drinking a lot or if someone is, um, you know, maybe even a belief system, it could be destructive. Uh, but with this 19, I guess this is what was destructive is someone is very egoic, you know, very much up in their head, you know, thinking that their ish don't stink. You know, this is pride. This is ego. This is stubbornness, you know, so that's self-destructive when you are too much egotistical. You know, that's when, like I said, you have to allow <clears throat> that balance between the heart and the mind, you know, and so it's, it's like you got to come to the center You got to come to that that heart chakra and heal that, you know, that's why that opened up the card That's what you did 47 47 on the clock. That's 11 11 So I feel like this is that twin flame This is what was hindering and blocking this union from coming into fruition is that there was a lot of ego There was a lot of stubbornness hard-headedness. There was also self-sabotage this is someone like definitely having an ego death now. So with this, what's hidden is someone is, you know, kind of working on themselves so that they can have this new start, this new venture so that they can do what? Look at that. Spiritual partnership is right back here. So someone has had some sort of ego death. They've learned some lessons. They realize that they were, you know, only uh, destroying themselves or sabotaging themselves, hurting themselves because what they truly wanted was this connection is that's what they're coming into um you know uh awareness of is that this is very sacred this is worth fighting for because their heart belongs to you according to joe powerful 48 48 on the clock so this this is like you know 12 12 that's three this is that past person that's three three six so divine spirit of love and light, what's the outcome for our beautiful divine masculines? We have a message of love and light. Thank you. Cards flow on the floor. It's change. Someone is making changes. Spiritual career. Didn't I say you all are very psychic? 
I was picking up on you all being very, very much in that energy where you can meet someone perhaps in some sort of esoteric shop. You could also become partners with someone and it's going to be a very uh, powerful and uh, successful union um, alliance that you're building with someone. But this person, uh, your person, someone is coming in to change your life. You know, this is someone that is coming in to change your lives. I feel like you both are, um, you know, you are, uh, how do they say that? Two sides, you, 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 you're two sides of the same coin. What's that saying? I, in, in other words, there, there's so much similarity between you and this person. It's like, this is your like mind. You know, this is someone that is like minded because this is 11. So the outcome is you're coming into union with your divine feminine masculines. With this five change, they too have been hurt, healing and growing. This is the Hierophant. I feel this is going to lead to marriage. It's going to lead to partnership. And this is someone that's also spiritually inclined. Same as you. That's why the 7-7 seven, seven spirituality is here. Because you both have done the work. You both, with that teaching and learning card that showed up as well. It's just showing, you know, that you could have been teaching this person. They have been teaching you, you know, I've, either way. It's like there's, there's been some some strong um, growth spurts that has taken place. You both have been working, doing the work, doing the work. And that's beautiful. And they're going to finally surrender. This is the same person that was running, trying to run from what they wanted all along. And like I said, with self-destruction playing, that's the self-sabotage. And with heavy D was just rhyming. And so I feel like this is someone that is like, this is heavy on their mind. This situation, the circumstances, this relationship was heavy on their mind. They see you as a wish fulfillment and they're rushing in towards you. Because they starting to see just how powerful the magnitude how sacred this connection is this is beautiful y'all so let's tap in beloved let's get some messages from psychic tarot you good my little katara katara so there is a union reunited and it feels so good that's what y'all gonna be doing you reuniting with someone very special someone very special because look Wu Tang and Red Man, they saying lesson learned, beloved. Someone's learned their lesson and they learned they can't be too far from you for too long. They don't want to lose you to someone else. I'm just dropping everything all over the world. Good Lord. And I'm not going to pick it up now because I ain't got time. But um, <clears throat> yeah, someone's definitely realizing like they learned some lessons here. And that's exactly what teaching and learning is. So when someone had to learn that the grass wasn't greener on the other side is what I'm getting a sense of. That they couldn't live without you because their heart belongs to you. This could be the person you're attracting or this could be your own sentiment. This could be the epiphany that you had doing your work. Maybe you were the one that was very egotistical, divine masculines. And now you've learned by being in separation or being at a distance or out of someone's life that you absolutely love them. You love that person. And so we see here, you know, this narrative but there will be a surrender. Someone is taking action. Someone feels so much passion, so much fire, so much desire, so much love. And they will be taking action. This is something that they will be doing. Because I do feel like there's a strong sense of, you know, someone really doing that internal work, inspecting with the inspect the deck. You know, I feel like they've really been <clears throat> working on that crown. I mean, that root chakra and have ascended to the crown chakra. Because red man is giving me like the root the base chakra, and then inspecting themselves. So that's that healing process that you have to do. And so with the celebrations, you know, this is a rejoice and celebration. This is like reuniting with someone. This also could be very indicative of what someone was doing because we had, remember, we had Ray Charles saying, um, let's go get stoned. So, you know, maybe this is what someone was doing, drinking, partying too much. I'm hearing party and bullshit and party. That's like a, um, that was, a, <clears throat> excuse me, that was um, Sadat X and Notorious B.I.G. So that's what somebody was doing, just partying and bullishing. 
This could be your energy or this could be the person you are attracting. Always at the club. Maybe somebody was a dancer, a stripper, an entertainer. And so they was just always at the club. They had that mentality. I got to get my money. I need my money. You know. And so they were just always just, you know, it was supposed to be something they were doing. Um, <clears throat> you know, like, like, like just, you know, sparingly. And, and it just became like an everyday thing. Maybe because somebody got addicted to that fast money, you know. So divine spirit of love and light. Let me tap in. Get a message of love and light for my divine masculines. Get a message of love and light. And, you know, when you're living that fast life, you start bumping into all kinds of, you know, sussy energy, you know, because all them people in there on demon time, you know, that, that's a, you know, that's that, uh, <clears throat> that's that demon time energy, you know, that, that's, you know, the, the, the lust, the drugs, the sex, you know, so you, you could easily get sucked up into that, you know, and I just get a sense of somebody was probably having a drink just to dance, started like, I'm hearing somebody was, you know, sniffing cocaina just to dance, trying to muster up the, the courage to do it because that's not really who they were. Maybe they got addicted to some things. Maybe they had to drink to get up on stage half naked to dance. And that was what drew the wedge because remember we had Sister Sledge. So maybe that was what, you know, maybe that was the wedge between perhaps the connection between you and this person. But let's tap in. And so we have... Uh, we have um, disruption. So this is the devil. So this is what you had to persevere from and heal from. This is like that tower energy. You know, the tower represents what's hidden. This is what's hidden in the dark or hidden in plain sight. This is all the blockages. You know, there was a lot of blockages and you, you suffered from that. But I feel like you learned to heal yourself. Whatever these things were, these were also, um, it forced you to to work on you, you know, because you can't change anyone external to you. You could only change you. You know, that is your priority. And I feel like that's what you focused on was whatever this disruptive energy was, even if this was your own bad habits. You know, the tower represents lies. The tower represents deceit. You know, it represents a lot of the things that could be um, <clears throat> going on right underneath your nose that you're unaware of. But these are also blockages and spirit sees it. And so spirit is going to step in and destroy that tower, bring that tower down so that the truth can be revealed, you know. And so I feel like this was the work that had to be done. This is like the internal work. You know, that seven again, that four and seven, that is reducing to 11. So in order to come into any type of partnership, you have to heal yourselves. You know, you got to heal that self to love that self. When you love that self, then you know that self. And I feel like that's what happened. You started the healing process. And then guess what? Your person, whoever you were dealing, took note. You know, whether this is like, um, um, whether this is just like you, you inspired them, uh, by triggering them or awakening them by you doing your worth either way it's like they they took note and they started to do their work as well and so we have uh, Dave East and this is called handsome so someone definitely is attracted to you they feel that you're very handsome and they know you have no problem pulling women like you could have the pick of your you know the litter maybe this is your energy where you was you know kind of all over the place because you had you know a lot of suitors you had a people a lot of people a lot of women interested so we have on the bottom of the deck we have uh material and spiritual prosperity and what i'm hearing is um growth looks good on you abundance looks good on you you know Someone has learned that you are, you know, their divine masculine. This could be the reason why they are wanting to return because you are coming into all of this. It says material, spiritual, material and spiritual prosperity. And this is the number six. So this is like blessings. This is wish fulfillment. This is even success in certain business partnerships that you may have. I feel like you've learned a lot throughout this journey and so now there's rewards that are being blissed upon you, you know, and you're going to be rewarded, I'm hearing, handsomely. You're receiving a handsome reward. Some of you all could be residents of the East Coast. Some of you all may be named Dave, David. I 
I'm hearing Devon. Let's tap in. Why is teaching and learning here for my Divine Masculines? May I have a message of love and light? Why is teaching and learning here? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got conflict. See that? Conflict and defeat. Someone was up in their head. Mental conflict. Ruminating, pining. And that's what I was picking up on. We got rejoice and celebration. So someone was learning. The grass wasn't greener on the other side, but they also learned, you know, the, the, through their destructive behavior, drinking, you know, we got Nina Simone feeling good, you know, so the, all they was worried about was just feeling good. So they was doing anything, drinking, drugs, smoking, partying, having fun. They got third eye. We have positive movements forward. So you were like a reflection. You were a mirrored reflection to someone because this three and the three. Three and three reduces to six. That's the first die. So you reflected back to someone what they looked like. Just partying and bullshitting. You know, this is cheers. Like, what are you cheersing? Rent is due and you're $200 short. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this this is the, this is the life. The fast life. Partying. You know, bull, bull crapping. My cat is just, she is on it today. Give me one moment. I don't know what she doing. Give me one moment. Okay, pardon me. So, yeah, someone definitely was learning. And they had to learn the hard way. You know, because they was prioritizing feeling good. Having fun. Getting drunk. Getting twisted. Partying. Bullet crapping. And they had to learn a valuable lesson, nonetheless. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is what I was picking up. Drinking. This is Cheers. You know, hanging out with the wrong crowd. But here we have six first die. So someone, dang man. <laughs> Cards keep falling off the damn table. And so we have um, this 26 and love partnership. So someone is seeing something. Like I said, like this is trusting their intuition now. And also realizing like, dang, you know, you, you're the wish fulfillment. You know, there was something very sacred, very special about y'all communication, about y'all connection, about the way that y'all intertwine, the way that you guys, you know, uh, cohabitated. It was something very rare, very unique. And with this eight and six, that's uh, 14, that's five. They desire to speak to you. There's no communication. And this is why that five is here. Mentally conflicted, stuck you know, in their mind, you know, ruminating, ruminating, singing coulda, shoulda, wouldas. And with skyscrapers by DMX, Rising Power King, I feel like they're looking at things perhaps from a deeper, you know, a, 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 a different perspective from a bird's eye view with skyscrapers because they're tall, you know, they're high up in the air. So this is someone looking at things from a different angle, from a different scope, perhaps even with a different lens because we do have this six and that's your first thought so they're now using intuition and they're now seeing like clearly that you're the wish fulfillment with that 26 8 and now they're also understanding why you know you could have created boundaries moved away you know why there's no communication now it's all making sense that's why aha was playing you know now they have a different take on you a different take on the situation you know realizing the sacrifices that you have made we have the number 32 music, and this is being clarified by this eight positive movements forward. So this also is giving me like the eight of cups as well type of energy. And so with this 32 music, someone's ready to come back. With that 82, I mean that eight and that 32, which is five, that's like 13 yet again. So this is the ending. You moved on, you know, it's like you moved on with your life and you started to focus on healing yourselves, loving yourselves, walking away or moving away from something or someone that doesn't serve you, appreciate you, value you. That's the best show of love, best show of self-love, self-care, self-discipline that you can exude. So this is like, I love me. I'm selfishly loving me and I'm moving on. You know, with this skyscrapers, that's the grand epiphany that you may have had to stop giving to people who are undeserving I feel like you created distance. You moved on. You moved away. 
this is the person that's their energy though so I do feel like now they're getting some sort of epiphany because I have skyscrapers playing and they're getting an epiphany as to why you left you know and you seem to be doing much better you know you're much happier this is positive movements forward Maybe someone is finally making the decision to change their lives, change the course of direction of their lives. If they were in entertainment, you know, like I was picking up someone dancing, you know, maybe someone was perhaps an uh, um, exotic dancer, you know, and, and they could have gotten caught up in that fast life. There's a lot of conflict, regrets, remorse, even, ag you know, like anxiety, stress. Why is nine completion here for how this person feels about our divine masculines may have a message of love and life. Why is this nine completion here for how this person, their attractive feels about them may have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Thank you, spirit. So got two cards and we have obstacles and challenges. So they do feel like there are some challenges because you did have two cards that flew up. Look what they feel. Emotional loss, heartache and loss. They feel this pain. They feel this pain, but they also know that they caused you a lot of pain. They're also bored wherever they are. Wherever they thought that grass was going to be greener, and this is how they feel. Discontent and bored without you. Because you've wrapped up the cycle. The nine is completion. This is you growing. This is you maturing. This is you learning your self-worth and value. This is that nine. Like I said, the hermit is a wizard. So you've been in isolation. You haven't been communicating with anyone. You haven't been talking to anyone. And they feel this pain. This is what they're feeling. They're also in a nine vibration. But it's the loss. It's the agony for them. It's the discontent for them. It's the sadness. Their heart is broken. Their heart is is um, is really um, aching. And we have uh, Junior Walker. What does it take? So they are trying to figure out what does it take. What steps do they need to take to come toward you? Because we have the spirituality, 7-7. Seven, seven. So perhaps they're praying, they're calling upon their angels and guides, asking for, asking for, uh, asking for guidance. You know, and as you can see, there is this plank that he's walking on and it's being illuminated by these, you know, this, these light bugs. And so... He's seen the pitfalls that are before him so he could avoid something. So whomever he he or she, you know, was dealing with, they could see that it's going to lead to a lot of obstacles, but they're willing. It's like almost like they're willing to take whatever steps necessary. Spirit is leading them back to you, I'm hearing, because this is five. And then we got seven, seven. That's five. When you reduce it to 14, that's five. So it's like these are the messages. They could be calling on their angels and guides, spirit team, asking for guidance, as I said. Because how they see you is they see that you are like a beacon of light. This could be how they're learning. They've been learning from you, watching you. You could be representative of these bugs. And they're learning to avoid these pitfalls by dealing with these old toxic energies that just want to party and bullcrap. These distractions. These energy vampires, these spiritual parasite leeches, and, and demonic entities. Remember, I was picking up on like they on demon time. And so they've learned from you to, you know, establish uh, <coughs> boundaries. That's why you're not dealing with them. You're in this nine vibration and they're trying to uh, escape whatever this is. You know, this is like them trying to escape, but they've learned from you. I feel like you've taught them this. Because that five is the hierophant. And we got loose ends stay a little while. So their pride had them staying in situations that they knew they had already outgrown. But I feel there's ego death here. This is what's hidden. So there is an ego death and there's this rest and rejuvenation. They're rejuvenating their spirit, healing, grounding themselves, centering themselves. My nose is tickling like crazy. So they could be tying up loose ends, finally having that ego death, seeing things clearly, ready to move forward, have that fresh start. Why is 19 pride here for what's hidden in the energy for our divine masculines? This could be your energy also. Ego death, focusing on the self, 
connecting to the heart chakra, connecting to your Christ consciousness. All right, there's too many cards. I'm going to put these all back. Give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. And we got wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. Blessings upon blessings upon blessing comes to you when you surrender, just like the card said on the bottom of the deck. You got to surrender. Can't control the narrative because you know not what spirit has for you. Look at this. You got surrender and you have manifestation on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, when you give up the need to control the narrative or control, when you're trying to control things, you don't know what the divine has in store for you. And this is wish fulfillment. This is a blessing. Someone sees you as such as well. So they're letting their ego, you know, they're, 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 it's like an ego death here. Because that 10 represents an ending. But that ending denotes a new beginning. This is powerful. So why is 19 pride here for my divine masculines? We have a message of love and light. We have a message of love and of life for my divine masculine spirit. Good Lord, there's like a gazillion cards. I can't take 45 billion cards. All right, so we have emotional withdrawal, the waiting game, spiritual partnership, memories of love, the six of cups, harmony, the lovers, mention both of those, the two, sacral chakra, that's that decision, choosing for yourself, the destiny card, fortune and fame, the 13, transformation, I mentioned that, the number one, I mentioned this, base chakra, and look, this is the mental conflict. So now I understand why all of these came out because this is what this person is ruminating and pining over, the decision. Remember I was picking up with the 1010 10 we saw in the beginning of the reading, I reduced it to two because one and one is two and I was saying someone is really in two minds, stuck at a fork in the road trying to make a decision. And that's why spirit was like, take a, you know, take a leap of faith and pushed you off the ledge. But this is ego, this is trying to control things. When you're stuck in two minds, you can't see things clearly, even if it's right in front of your face. And so this is what your your person is thinking of. This could be what you're thinking of. This could be you or your person's energy. And this is the emotional withdrawal that's necessary. So you've moved, removed yourself from a situation where you didn't feel like there was any reciprocity. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. Moving yourself. Getting away from a situation where you've been given and given and given only to feel emotionally bankrupt. So now you're restoring yourself, you're healing that self. And if you look closely, there are footsteps in the sand, which means spirit was with you. Spirit was there helping you, healing you, guiding you, protecting you. You've been waiting. Remember we saw patience, the two, two, patience, or the two. So this is about, you know, good things taking time to create. The seeds that you've sown, they are going to harvest, but it's going to happen in divine timing and in divine order. There goes the two of cups. Someone that wants to give to you equally. Someone that now knows that you are their divine counterpart. You are a like mind. This is someone that has similar interests. This is similarity of familiarity that the two of you share. And this is someone that is definitely in love. They feel like they can have that equal give and take, that happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after, build, grow, and cultivate a relationship, a healthy relationship. This is someone from your past that holds you near and dear to their heart. This is that person that has had that aha, that epiphany. This is someone that, that you know, reminisces on the love that they had with you. This could be your energy with loose ends, stay a little while. Someone could be trying to convince someone to stay or trying to even force someone to stay through manipulation, emotional manipulation, even um, gaslighting. I feel like this is a very um, spiritual union, sacred union. We saw spiritual partnership and we also saw spirituality. And this is why, this is the six, the lovers. So there's a harmony. You can see they're creating that glow of, of green, which represents the heart chakra. And this is because both parties have done their work on themselves. You have to heal from heartache. One, three, one half of six is three, you know? And so you had to heal from past pains, hurts, traumas, in order to be able to develop or to cultivate this type of love with another person and I feel like that's what the both of you did also owning it also standing in that power standing in your own power prioritizing your needs prioritizing what you desire and no longer self-sabotaging 
This is destined. This is meant to be. And I feel like you are coming into a time of fortune and fame and prosperity because you have gone through enormous change. You've transformed. There's been a death of the old you and the birth of a new you. You have had some sort of startling metamorphosis, as did your per person, hence teaching and learning. And with this base, this is where it all started. It all started at the base, the root chakra. This is powerful. And we have here four, firm foundation. So this is how you're moving now, establishing a solid foundation. Whatever was destroyed, it is now being rebuilt on a solid foundation. So that means you need to see changes, changed behavior. That's why this five is here, the outcome. Someone is coming in changed. Someone's coming in renewed, purified, grown, you know, growing through an experience. And this is a spiritual career. So this could be someone that you will meet in the same field or line of work. Maybe this is another spiritual person. Like I said, someone who's into metaphysics, esoteric and occult knowledge but this is someone you will have like you know that this is that four vibration which is the 1111 it's also associated with the heart chakra so that 1111 is twin flame union this is a very firm connection you both have been through a lot so let's tap in so why is five change here for the outcome for our divine masculines and then we're going to wrap it up why is this five here for our divine masculines we have a message of love and light why is five here for our beautiful divine masculines? We have a message of love. Thank you, spirit. See? Beautiful. Five is here because you have patience. Good things take time to create. Remember, we saw that in the beginning. So someone is working on themselves. That seed that was sown in good faith, is, it's, it's definitely blossoming. It's blossoming, beloved. So there are some positive changes that are taking place. And those changes are going to spark a brand new beginning. And we have Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, If This World Were Mine Singing. So this is someone that definitely thinks the world of you. But I also feel like this is someone that's going to give you everything. You both are going to be um, in a very beautiful, beautiful connection because you're, you're attracting your divine feminine. Fertility is the empress. This is number, number three. So you are meeting someone in your line of work, whatever you do, whether you are an artist, whether you are a creative, whether you are, um, you know, an, a singer, a painter, a dancer, an engineer, whether you play the piano, whatever it is, whether you're a tower reader, a scryer, a channeler, wherever it is that you uh, master yourself, you're going to bump into your divine feminine if you haven't met her already. You may have already met her and you both are definitely into the occult knowledge. And I feel this is going to be a very sacred connection, very powerful connection. And I do feel strongly this is a wish fulfillment for you. And we have accelerated motion. I can't make this up. So this is a wish fulfillment, just as I said. See that star? You've wished on this. You've manifested this. Because remember, we had manifestation on the bottom of the deck. That's eight manifestation and here goes the eight the accelerated motion it's coming quicker than you can even imagine beloved and it's because you've surrendered you let the most high do what the most high does when you step out of the way and let the most high work and you do your work spirit is obviously noticed like fresh out the gate you persevered through some things you focused on healing yourselves you've grown and now you're you're deserving of this if this world were mine this is one of my favorite songs ever you know one of them and this is by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. And they actually, um, I believe they were in a beautiful love connection, love partnership. And I believe Tammy Terrell passed away and Marvin was deeply hurt by that. But um, that union, that partnership, you know, they both were in the same craft of making music. And that's where I feel you and your person, y'all will both be in the same field, some shape, form, or fashion. But this is beautiful. It's coming quickly. News is coming. Movements forward are coming. Wish fulfillment is coming. We saw that wish fulfillment card. This is your reading. Beautiful Divine Masculines. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Definitely hit the share notification bell. And also subscribe to the Soul Tribe Soul Family if you haven't already. Um, I thank you all for tuning in, tapping in. Until next time, big fat ashe. Love and light.